Hi everyone, my name is Kamil. This is my kitchen. Hope you got your aprons on. Let's get cooking. So what's on the menu for today? As today, today is Saturday and tomorrow is Mother's Day. I've really got a surprise in for my wife and my mother-in-law. I'm making them a really fantastic seafood stew where the star of the show is a lobster. So in Spanish, it's called actually caldereta de borovante y marisco. I actually learned this dish when I was working at a hotel here in Barcelona. However, this is my version of it, my recipe. I've slightly twisted it a bit, but it's still the same lines on the authentic Spanish seafood stew. Let's go ahead and get those ingredients on. And for those of you who are new to my channel, the list of ingredients and recipes will be in the description below. Let's get cooking. Today we're going to need two onions chopped, one red pepper finely chopped as well, three cloves of garlic minced, two and a half tomatoes grated, 200 grams of calamari, or if you have fresh, I've got fresh today, you can use frozen as well. So this is local calamari that's been cleaned out. 400 grams of monkfish that has been, uh, both the skins taken off. Fun fact, monkfish doesn't have any scales, it has two skins, so that's how it um, swims in the sea. Going back to the ingredients, however, we're gonna need 200 ml of kava, half a kilo of hams or mussels, seasoned flour, and going back over here, we're gonna need around 700 ml or a liter of very good uh, fish stock. I'll put the recipe for that in the description. And this here is carne de niora, so or here it says pulpa de niora which is a paste of Spanish uh, pepper. So it's, it's a round pepper, it gives a lot of depth and flavor. And we'd also need some saffron, so just a pinch of saffron, which I'll add in a bit later. Okay, so we're gonna start off, first of all, with a bit of olive oil in the pan. And we're gonna start off with heads of lobster. So what that's gonna do is uh, really give us a lot of depth and flavor. This is a fantastic dish because it's a one pan dish. That's what I love about this dish. We're just gonna get a bit of salt in the pan. And we're gonna start off by frying the, the heads off. So this is the color that we want to have on the head of the lobster. Add a bit more oil so we can fry off the monkfish and the calamaris. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the calamari and the monkfish in a bit of flour and we're gonna fry them off. Okay, so what I've done now is I've just lightly floured the calamari and the monkfish and I'm just frying them all off. What that's gonna do is just fast cook them and give some really nice color to, to the dish and then I'm gonna take them out and add the onions. Onions in. And for the garlic. We need to fry off the lobster as well. Good thing about using a pan like this is you can just fry them off over there on the side. So we just give them some color as well for the lobster tails. Well, this is still frying up here. If you have a non-stick pan, it's fantastic. We want it to be nice and brown, the onion. And to add in the red pepper.
So we got some nice color as well on the lobster. We're gonna just take it off. So now we have to fry this up. So at this stage now, we just want to add in our saffron as well. Just a pinch of saffron. Wow, this smells lovely. Peppers are fried off lovely now. We're gonna add our tomatoes and fry them off as well. Two teaspoons of the nyora. So now that it's lovely and fried off the tomato, so all the liquid is gone and it's starting to stick at the bottom of the pan. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the white wine and that. Or as in this case, I'm using the kava. I'm gonna add in the claws as well of the lobster as well. So it's been about three minutes now. We're just gonna open it up and see how it's doing. So the clams are starting to open. Okay, what we're gonna do now is just gonna make some space for the rest. So I'm not going to put in the monkfish as yet, just the rest of the... Let's give it a little taste and see how it is, if it needs salt or not. Yeah, a little bit of salt is needed. So we're just gonna keep the lid on now and leave it for another five minutes. Okay, so what I've done is here, I've decided to add in a bit of hazelnut paste, just so that uh, it can give it a bit of depth. So it's about 50 grams of hazelnut paste. I'm just gonna stick it on top and then we'll mix it in. So for those of you who don't want any hazelnut paste, you can always add in a bit of mazina, uh, too thick. We just wanted a nice depth to it, the sauce. And then we just give it a little mix in. And now it's time for the mount cream. And that's it ready. Now I'll just finish off with a bit of chopped parsley, stalks and everything. So. Hey guys, I just wanted to come back and say thank you very much for making that uh, video and watching my video. I really appreciate all of you guys supporting me and it's time for me to clean up the kitchen and for you to go out and get yourself the ingredients to make this recipe. Don't forget, comment in the comment section below if you tried it and if you like it. I know the girls tomorrow are definitely going to love it. So, do take care of yourself and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.